Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide. And this time we have another very easy one in the terms of super soccer, even though it's called football, foot on ball, get it? Yeah. Uh, anyway, let's argue about that later. Blast! And this was developed and published by Unfinished Pixel. They, they ought to finish that up soon. And is usually available for £6.69, but goes on sale frequently. I mean, this last sale was on for £1.67, so keep your eyes frosty. So this arcade-style football game is as typical as you'd expect. It can be fun, entertaining, and also frustrating. But luckily, the achievements are sorting us out lovely. What could look to be potentially tricky ones take in 5-6 to six hours. With the help of scoring it on goals, counting towards your total, simulation mode, and a second controller, it becomes easier than chowing down your favourite fruit, Favorite fruit, favorite food, and then crapping it back up afterwards. Now there may only be one that you'll have to try a few times, and that's just for scoring an overhead kick, but I will tell you the best tip that I've got for that. Otherwise, this can be done anywhere between 30 minutes to an hour. So with that being said, then let us begin. And then what we're gonna do is just get a whole bunch of easy ones out the way. So we're not actually gonna be playing anything for the first uh, sort of 10 minutes or so. And I'll tell you why. So when we begin right yeah. What we're going to do is loading, loading, thank you very much. Right, go to uh, custom. So we're not going to go to play first, we've got to custom. Scroll over to team editor and then just click on new team. Now all you've got to do, in fact you don't even have to do anything, you can literally just press the start button to go back out. But if you want to make up a new team, you can for instance, mine is... Um, well, this is pretty much off South Park, but my team is going to be called Scroty McBugger Balls because, <laughs> well, why not? There we go, Scroty McBugger Balls. Right, with that one done, now we can just back out, and then what we can do is go to Avatar Editor. So back out a couple of times, go to Av uh, Avatar Editor. And you can literally just like change the eyes once and then you got to save it as. You do have to save it as a name. So, and we have to do this five times. So you get two achievements. One for um, uh, changing an avatar once and then for one for five times. So I'm going to change his name first to Mike Crack. <laughs> because the maturity levels are going to show with these next other four nicknames as well. Uh, and then just go to anything you want. So you can go to Mouth, Mustache, just change it over. And then go to save as, and then choose another name. So this time, I'm going to choose uh, Mo Sizzler Classic, or Bart Simpson Classic. Maya Butt Reeks. Happy days. Uh, <laughs> oh, yes. Maturity. 32. Extremely mature. Right, next, let's give him a little uh, cheeky, a uh, hell of a moustache. Because <laughs> because what footballer looks like this? A nun. Maybe uh, Roy Keane. Nah, Roy Keane was the complete opposite, wasn't he? Uh, what we're going to do, now we're going to go for a nice Hugh Jass. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. That's a nice, that's a nice name, that. Uh, just to, again, literally do what you want. Shoes, whatever. Um, but I'm telling you now, no footballer looks like this. Even though the cheeky gets are on about 300 grand a week, 200 grand a week, nobody's got a smile like that. I would be flicking ball sacks. I would be literally licking boots if I was on 200 grand a week, I tell you. Right, I'm just going to go with a, a, a common name around here, Tiny Pecker. That's always a nice common name. People used to call me all the time in school, but I had no idea why. And for the final one then, we're going to go with my personal favourite, and we're going to go with a Mr. E. And for the last one, we're going to go for Rection. Now, people laugh when I used to tell them that was my name, but I, I don't know why, I thought it was a pretty cromulent name. Apparently not, but there we go anyway. So when you've changed your avatar five times, again, you don't have to make up hilariously mature nicknames like I have. You can just press the start button if you so choose. So, what we're going to do now is go back out all the way to the main menu. Now go to play. We're still not going to play any football matches though, just yet. Uh, but we're going to go scroll over to the right and go to custom competitions. And then uh, click new competition. Uh, just choose knockout because that's the easier one because it doesn't take as long. Put team counter four. And then just press the A button a total of four times. And then it's just going to add a whole bunch of uh, random teams for us. So we've got Amsterdam, which is Ajax, Barcelona, Dortmund, and uh, Liverpool. Ah, I love Liverpool, my favorite team. 
if I wasn't a Man United fan, of course. Right, uh, press start there. I can't be asked naming the, the competition. I just named it competition. Then press A on competition. Um, it doesn't matter about this because we're not doing anything here. So what we're going to do is press uh, a, the A button on all four of them. So as long as all four teams have the control next to them, that means that they are human teams. In other words, you cannot lose. Happy days. So press continue way to get to this screen. Now press the X button to simulate. So keep the player one standard there in the middle. Press the X button to simulate. And that will simulate all types of results for you. So that's what we'll be doing for the next couple of minutes. Pressing the A button, then the X button. Pressing the A button, then the X button. And then somebody will win the competition. And again, as long as you've got... Uh, the, every team is a human team with the controllers all next to them. You are going to literally win no matter what. So uh, congratulations on the easiest thousands you'll have for quite a while. So that was the custom tournament done. Now we're going to go back to play and we're going to go to World Tour. There's basically five that we have to do. The Mondo Cup, which is obviously the World Cup. The League of Champions, Champions League, and all this. So start off then with the very first one, uh, which was whatever that was. Make sure that you've got the control next to all of the teams uh, to make them all human teams. And then we're just going to do that. We're going to press continue, continue again, and then just press the X button to simulate. So literally, that's all we're going to be doing then for the next couple of minutes is spamming the A and X button. You cannot go wrong. If you somehow go wrong, then, well, goddamn, man, how did you do that? So, yeah, just keep pressing the AMX button, spam it as quick as you can, and it'll draw out a winner, and that'll get you the, the winner, and then we can just move on. Oh, if only Manchester United could win this easy. Jesus Christ, it's, it's aged me terribly watching those guys. So when that one's done then, that's all we're going to do. So we're going to go to play again, we're going to go back to World Tour, and then we're just going to do the next one, which is the Fiesta Tormento. Luckily, there's only four this time, so this is going to take no time at all. Welcome to the Fiesta Ribaru. See, by the time we said Ribaru, Argentina already won. Which is uh, fantastic. So, that's the next one done. So, then you just go back to play. World Tour. Go to the next one, which is the Champions League. And, again, you know the drill. Select all of them as the human teams. And then just press the A and X button. And let's see who wins the Champions League. Or the League of Champions. As it's so known in America. America. So who wins? Oh, it's El Barcelona. Barcelona win. Borussia Dortmund second. As long as Liverpool didn't win, because it always kills me when those the, the, those legends win. <laughs> oh, what a fantastic team! It's so great seeing them at the top of the table with Manchester City. <coughs> anyway, well, by the time you've done this, then we are just going to simulate the next one, and who's going to win this time? Well, I'll tell you, it's Sportivo Milan. Sportivo, which will be into Milan then, of course. 
So that's Inter Barca. This is basically the, the Super League, the douchebaggery Super League from the greediest owners in world football. Yep. Next, it's time for the Mondo Cup, which again, that'll be the World Cup then. Um, again, all this bit doesn't matter. So you just smash the human teams and let's see who is going to win the Mondo Cup. Again, this is a knockout tournament, so this shouldn't take too long either. Who's going to be the best team in the world? It's Italy versus Portugal in the World Cup. And the winner is... Hilariously, it's Italy in this. But I'm going to tell you now, Italy are not exactly going to be winning the next World Cup, are they? Because they got knocked out by North Macedonia. Which English football fans have literally touched themselves silly over that. I can guarantee English football fans have touched themselves silly over that after the Euros. Although it was funny to see England lose on penalties. Anyway, whatever. Right, now we're going to select the teams... Sorry, England. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Italy. And we're just going to go to uh, this. Now, what we're going to do here, I end up using a second controller just to make it absolutely goddamn plain simple as. It's still an easy game, and you can still get these achievements without a second controller. But, of course, with the opponents trying to get all up inside you all the time, it gets annoying after a while. So, if you can, use a second controller. But if not, don't panic because the game is still very easy. So, the first thing that we're going to be doing then is scoring a hat-trick. So, you press the A button there to kick off, X button to lob it over, the B button to shoot, um, uh, the X button to uh, tackle if you're not on the ball, but of course we don't need that. So, just make sure that you are, obviously, the, the, the name will be at the bottom left-hand side of the screen for those that don't really play football. So just make sure that you've got the same guy, and then obviously because we've got a second controller plugged in, you cheeky git griff, we can literally just go ahead, the goalkeeper will do something like that, and we'll just walk it in. Very, very much IT crowd. Wow. <laughs> and if anyone knows the IT crowd, they'll know exactly what I mean. Um, yes, it does help if they try to walk it in. <laughs> Everyone knows. And then again, just make sure then that it's the same player scoring a hat-trick, Bam, I almost bollocks that one up, which would have been funny. But that'll be the hat-trick. Now what we're going to do for this one is um, score five goals and win the game by five goals as well. So, um, now, what it's worth doing as well is trying the overhead kick. Now that is what I just tried doing then. So from, the ha so from about the halfway line, sort of in the centre circle, pressing the X button about halfway... And then pressing the B button when it gets to the striker. Um, yeah, pressing the B button when it gets to the striker. Hoping that he'll do an overhead kick. We'll come to that a little bit later on. Uh, so don't panic too much about that. Here's the full-time whistle for this game. So if you want to try and get the overhead kick game uh, done in this game. Obviously, we're going to do that. Which I tried doing. 1-6-0. Job done. But that will be the best solution. The overhead kick... <laughs> it gets frustrating because you you might think that, and again, if you're going to do the overhead kick and the rest of it, put the match length, length to about 30 minutes just so we're all good. But the overhead kick, sometimes you'll think you've got it perfect and then the dude will header it. Some people have said that even if they've headed the ball and if you've got a second controller, you just walk backwards into the net with your own goalkeeper. That works, but it never worked for me. Um, so, just to let you know. So, if you go about in the middle of the center circle, as you can see, so I press the B button, dude's headed it. Okay, so sometimes he just needs to get in the right position. Other times, the opposition defender might just to head it down and get in your way when you want to break his testes then. Sadly, it, it will take a couple of minutes. It took me about five minutes or so to do that. So, I press the B button there. That's not an overhead kick, so that wouldn't have counted. But again, with the lob, when you press the X button in the center circle, you need the power bar to be about halfway. And then with the player, with the striker that you uh, send the ball up to, press the B button and make sure it's about three-quarter length. So roughly like that, except it's nothing like that. So again, it, might, it will take a couple of tries to get right, but you can do it. It does. It, it gets annoying when they start doing the stuff. Oi! Give me the ball, you little business. Give me the... 
give me the goddamn... Mom, he won't give me the friggin' ball! Okay, I got the ball. So yeah, that's the best I can do. So again, center circle, halfway up the power bar, and then B, but there it is. So that's the one. So the B button, about three quarters of the way through when it gets to the striker at the top of the field, and that is how you do an overhead kick. Again, good luck with that. It will take a couple of tries. That's why I tell you that it's easier to do with a second controller because you're not being bummed as much by the opposition players. Now, the next thing that we're going to go for then is for hitting the... or the game calls it the wood. It's called the woodwork, but there we go. That's uh, fair enough. And The easiest way to do this then is you don't have to try and pass it or shoot it or anything. You can literally just... You can literally just walk up to the post and hit it a total of five times and it'll count every time. Sometimes you score an old goal. That's fine. Because we need to get up to 100 goals scored anyway. And oh, like I said earlier, own goals count. So that's always a good one. Um, but for this one, pass it back to your goalkeeper. And just try and not make it out for a corner. Again, it literally doesn't matter. It just takes seconds off your life, that's all. Uh, we've played worse games that take seconds off our life, haven't we? Um, God damn it! So as you can see, passing it is not... Passing it and trying to shoot at it is just a bit trickier. So the best thing I do is just literally take the one player and keep hitting the post. Keep trying to walk it in. And you'll know when you've hit the post is when you hear the crowd go, Oh my god, oh crap, he hit the post, son of a bit. And there we go. So we get the will lucked, which is for hitting the wood work. The wood work five times. So next... In fact, we're done. Now what we've got to do, actually, is just score 100 goals. So you can have a check You can have a check now and see which ones you've got left. But all we've got to do is score 100 goals. Now, the easiest way to do this is straight from kickoff, press and hold the X button. And then when it gets to the goalkeeper, press left ever so slightly. And that's just going to go straight in. So every time it kicks off, press and hold the X button until the power bar is all the way up. Then when it gets to the goalkeeper, press the left stick, left and you're just going to keep doing this. And we're going to have to do this again for up to 100 goals. So for now, you wouldn't... I mean, we would have scored... I, I only scored, I think, about 11 goals. So I'd have had to score literally 89 goals. And it ends up being more of a Italy rugby scoreline. Until we're on the receiving end, of course, being Italy. Unless they want to play an absolute crappy Wales rugby team and win for the first time in seven years. So... Well, maybe there's always that one. <laughs> when in Wales, that was a great Six Nations. Well done. I couldn't do any better because I'm a fanny and I'd get my head kicked in in rugby and I'd cry, probably. Um, but there we go. So this is it then. That is it. That's, that is as easy as it gets. So even with the overhead kicks and uh, a couple of others which took a, a while, I still got this done in an easy 45 minutes, including pausing the game for 12 minutes. So it is as easy as that. So there we go, guys and gals. Thank you so, so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the guide the game. I hope you enjoyed the guide as well, as I cannot slide tackle for the, for the life of me. Um, again, if it did help, don't forget host to like, comment, subscribe. Share with a friend as well. Big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. You guys and gals are legends. I'll see you in the next easy one, guys and gals. <laughs> Big love.